Hey there, Chef Edward. Hey, Elliot. It's great to see you again. Good to see you too. <laughs> Reese has missed you. He was very excited to have shared the screen with you for the very first time. I'm honored. That was Reese's first time on camera. Could you not tell? Did he seem like a natural? <laughs> he, he was less nervous than I was. That's it from his dad. You guys know I don't have kids. Nope, I got something better. I have fur babies. Look at Sunday and Reese. I call them my show ponies. My other two less behaved dogs, I call them the flowers in the attic. That truly embrace it. All right, kids, let's There's go. very few places that are more beautiful than Chicago in the summer, and uh, our patio is just like such a nice little oasis Sorry, when everything is, is up and running. You know what, before we even start, could you do me a favor? I got two dogs. Can you just, can you just hold on to Reese? I grew up with big dogs, but small dogs, I'm a little bit still a little apprehensive about. Celebrate, endorse, and promote the four-legged babies in this world as well. We can't talk about Mutt Street without mentioning that burger. <laughs> It's big. I mean, it's a double patty. The food itself, it's right now Asian fusion, which I love, and so trying something different. I just heard it's the best burger in Chicago, so I feel like we had to try it. You may have noticed that we both changed, and I don't think it's respectful for me to call him Edward anymore. Now I certainly feel I'm in, in the right zone to call him Chef Kim. Putting on that outfit made me feel so professional. If he was actually one of my line cooks, I would make sure that he buttoned that up. He's looking a little sloppy. <laughs> this is music to my ears. And then now let's put on some American cheese. And then I would just stack those two patties together. Yes, Chef. If you want to call me a good boy and throw a treat up in the air for me to catch, you can do that at any point, Chef. I think during this whole period, I was actually quite impressed by Elliot in the kitchen. In other words, this is starting to smell great, and it's going to taste the bomb. <laughs> oh, my good god. Now, that's a butter burger. That's a butter <laughs> bing butter boom burger right there. Right. I hope my girls are having as much fun as I am in here as they are outside. <laughs> That's how you work a crowd, Dad. Pickles and jalapenos. Any particular? Gotta button up that coat. Like Elliot like first. About three to Double four. Bars. Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> well, that was super embarrassing. <laughs> Welcome to my life. That's what the crew do to me all the time. It's like Elliot made a mistake. That's definitely going in the episode. I feel so much better about my entire <laughs> life. Just in one second of a mistake. Well, you're making you make me so nervous, Elliot. Yeah. Yeah. You know? There's your burger. Who's a good boy? Elliot, I guess. <laughs> Said that to Elliot to see if I could make him blush and uh, try to get on his good side. I actually don't have a good side. Me and other fur parents, thank you. <laughs> Can't wait to get back out onto the patio and be able to enjoy a meal like that. Hopefully sooner than later. All over the country, thank you for this baby too, because this is up there with what people consider to be one of the best burgers in the city. That's Ali buttering me up. That's butter with a little miso, chef. Classic burger hallmarks. But there are some things that you just can't do unless you have your kind of qualities as a chef and kitchen staff that does some amazing things. Like most chefs, it's hard for us to react with grace when, when complimented. It always makes us feel a little embarrassed and uncomfortable. Take the compliment. Your burger is up there. When you add miso to butter, it almost creates this hollandaise effect. You know, all that amalgamation, I think that Chicago is really special in terms of their palate. This is some serious gourmet going on here. Thank you, Elliot. I'm, I'm not <laughs> gonna, no, I need, okay. to, I need to hug because <laughs> it's, it's a life-changing moment. I'll take your burger with me as well, <laughs> just to feed my dogs. Of course. My dad ate both. I got nothing. During this period, we're doing curbside delivery and contactless pickup. We also offer this really cool program that we're doing called Feed Our Front Lines. People are buying meals and, in a sense, donating them, and then we deliver them to the nurses and doctors in our Chicago area. 